Hi everybody, it's me, Rosie. I hope everyone's doing well today. Today for our workout of the day, I'm gonna be showing you a gentle strength workout. Now, not everybody has a lot of weights in that at home. Around your house, you can go and take some cans. You can add some water bottles. Just basically anything that'll give you some resistance in your workout. Go around your house, see what you have. If you have any jugs, you can fill them up with water. Again, just provides you some resistance for your workout. So since this is gonna be a full body gentle strength workout, I'm gonna go through the motions. You can do this as a circuit. You can do um, 14 to 20 reps of each exercise. This is gonna take it to your level, okay? So as always, I have a plan, even though I'm at home, I still have a plan for my workout so I don't get lost in my routine. So feel free to write your ideas out and then just go through with it. At the beginning, you always want to warm up. So let's get into it. So music should be on. Anything that keeps you going, just a little warm up, marching, take it wide. And again, you're going to do about a five to 10 minute warm up. I'm just gonna demonstrate just a few of the moves. You wanna make sure that you're warming up all the muscles, all the joints. Make sure you have your water bottle. And as always, you're gonna take everything to your level. And march again. And let's get into some upper body. Always keeping that core nice and tight, watching your breathing. And a little rotation here. So again, about a five to 10 minute warm up. You don't need anything in your hand. And then when you feel nicely warmed up, we're gonna start with your large muscle groups. So I'm gonna grab my heaviest weights here, which will be my cans of chunky soup right now. So <laughs> taking your feet, about shoulder width apart, core is nice and tight, weights are down by the side, and you're gonna do some squats. And again, like I said, you can do about 14 to 20 of them. Just holding on to your weights here. I'll probably stick just to around 10 for the demonstrations. And again, it is a gentle strength workout. Nice. Okay, then we're going to go into some lunges. Still holding on to something heavy, standing nice and tall, core is nice and tight. You're going to step back for a reverse lunge. Take it down to your level. Back up and bring it in. Step back with the other leg. Take it down. Up. Bring it in. And again, always take this to your level. Core is engaged, back is nice and straight. It's gonna work on your balance also. And I'll do one more each side. Nice, and then just shake it off, okay? So you got your squats, you got some reverse lunges. Then we're gonna go into some deadlifts. Again, probably using your heavy set of weights. Standing nice and tall. Again, core is nice and tight. We're gonna hinge at the hips. Don't lock your knees. Just slightly hinge over. Keeping the neck and spine nicely aligned. And then slowly coming up. Not a rush movement. Again, we hinge in life, we bend over every day to get things. It's nice, easy movements. And feel free to do this workout if you've got 20, 30 pound weights also. And I'll do one more. Nice, good. Hope you're having fun with this. We're gonna move on to our back and I'm gonna do a little combo move here. So you're probably gonna want a medium weight. I find that my peanut butter is a little bit lighter than the soup. 
So we're gonna work our back, our second largest muscle group. And what we're gonna do, standing nice and tall, feet about shoulder width apart. You're gonna slightly hinge over, slight bend to the knees, chest is proud, weights are gonna come out in front. We're gonna do a row. So you're gonna pull it back, not lifting with the legs or anything, pull back because we pull in life. And then we're gonna add a rear delt fly to this. Okay, so we're gonna pull back, fly. Pull back, fly. Okay, I'm just making it a combo move. Keep keeping the workout interesting. Nice and strong, never yanking. We pull, release, nice control, no flinging. And I'm sure a lot of you have heard me say that in class before. We do not fling. Nice, and I'll do one more. Nice, stand back up nice and tall, good. We're gonna move on to the chest. The chest, you probably want something a little bit lighter. Chest is not as strong as your back and your legs. Again, so I'm gonna use my water bottles here. Standing nice and tall, my core is nice and tight, soft bend to the knees. I'm gonna do a chest press. Bring the weights out or water bottles. We're gonna bring it back. We're gonna press it out. Now, be careful here that you're not overextending and pulling right back, okay? So you wanna work the chest, anterior delts, triceps here. Nice control, bring it back. Nice alignment, no rocking around. And again, now pushing it out, bringing it back, pushing it out. Now, to make things a little bit more interesting with the chest, do unilateral work. One side, then the other side. So you notice I'm not rotating around, staying focused on the pecs, nice strong alignment. Okay, so again, you can do the full chest press, then go into the right, then the left, back to the full. Again, just making up a little bit of a combo here, just to keep it a little bit interesting. Good, and then that takes care of your chest. Now, we're gonna move on to the shoulders now. Shoulders, not a strong muscle group, so you do want something light again. So I actually have, empty water bottles now, <laughs> okay? Just a little bit of resistance, but they're not filled with anything. Feel free to fill your stuff up with rocks, sand, you know, just to make it a little bit heavier, okay? Use your imagination. We're gonna do what's called a little combo here for the shoulders. Core again is nice and tight. We're gonna do a side raise, bring it in front, open it up, then bring it down, up, side and my cat is about to jump into the picture his name is Monty all right bring it up bring it in open it up bring it down and there he goes <laughs> all right now we can take it to Bring it up in the front. Open it up, bring it in, bring it down. Front. Again, nice control on it, I'm lifting it up. And as always, if you have shoulder issues, you're always gonna take things to your range. So again, the two moves are we start at the side, we go up, in, 
open, down. Your second move is to the front, up, open, close, and down. You can pre repeat those a few times. I'm gonna get something a little bit heavier. I'm gonna add a little rotation to this. It's gonna help strengthen your shoulders also. You're gonna hold your weight up in front. Make sure you have a nice good grip. Okay, isometric, iso isometric training here, shoulder strength, holding the weight up in front. We're gonna add a little rotation. So follow the weight, holding it out as straight as you can. Pivot on that foot, follow it through. And I know a lot of yous are thinking, you cannot believe she's making me do this and we're not even together. Holding something up in front, building that nice strong strength, but always taking it to your level. We're gonna bring it down. So let's move on to your triceps. I mean, sorry, biceps. Again, medium, heavy weight. We're gonna do three different moves, okay? So this is where it becomes a little bit tricky with your weight. You may wanna try out a few things first. We're gonna do elbows tucked in, core is nice and tight, soft bend to the knees. We're gonna do a basic curl, change it into a reverse curl. Then we're gonna do a hammer curl. So again, all three curl movements just to make it a little bit more interesting. So we curl, we reverse, and we hammer. Okay? Curl, reverse, and hammer. And as always, if you just wanna do the basic curl, do the basic curl. If you wanna throw in reverse curls and stick with those, do reverse curls. And if you like the hammer curl, do the hammer curl. Those three moves will give the biceps a nice round workout. And then finally, we're gonna move on to the triceps, where again, you might want a medium to light weight. We're gonna do those tricep extensions. You only need one. Again, core is nice and tight, soft bend to the knees. We're gonna extend the arms up, elbows are tight. We're gonna bend the elbow, bring it back up. Take it down. Bring it up. So as always, you wanna be careful here that you're not swinging with the shoulders. Arms are straight up. You bend at the elbows only and work the back of those arms. Now, if you do have neck, issue, neck issues and a little bit of shoulder issues, if that's too much for you, you can do tricep kickbacks. Slightly bent over. Okay, soft bend to the knees, okay? I'm gonna do this sideways, okay? You're gonna take your arms back, you're gonna bring it down, kick it back. Down, kick it back. Be careful you're not doing bicep curls. Arms down, back, tighten up those triceps, bring it down, bend at the elbow, bring it down. Nice and strong, okay? So, that completes a full body strength routine. But as with any routine, you do want to add just a little bit of cardio to it. You don't have to, but if you want to, you can add this little cardio blast to it. March in place. You can do this before you work out, or you can do it after. Just a nice high cardio pace. Then we're going to throw in some knees. This is where the music comes in handy. Curl back. Touch those ankles. And back to a nice quick march. So if you did each of these moves for about a minute, and then you're gonna take it down. Again, always make sure you're drinking that water. You just want to cool it down just by doing nice, easy taps. 
light march, side taps. I want the heart rate to come back down. Let's roll the shoulders out. Again, just make your moves nice and slower. And then as always, you want to end with a nice stretch. You want to hold your stretches for about 20, 30 seconds. I'll just review some of the basics here with you. We're going to stretch out the chest. And again, we're not pouncing around. Just open it up and hold it. Turn your thumbs down. There's your biceps. Take the hands behind you. Pull the shoulder blades together. Stand them nice and tall. Pull on the pecs there, shoulders. You're gonna release, slightly lean over, pretend you're hugging that tree. Give that back a nice big stretch. Open up those shoulder blades, hold it there. Bring it up, roll the shoulders. Take one arm up, stretch out those triceps. You can pull back, you can come in the front and push back. And make sure you do both sides. Good, bring it down. Nice, great big shoulder roll again. You can hold on to a chair, hold on to the wall. We want to stretch out those quads. Grab your ankle, pant leg, shoelace, whatever you can. Thighs are pressed together, knees are aligned. Remember my goal this year is to be able to grab my ankle by December. So, <laughs> never been able to grab my ankle yet. Bring it down and do the other side. And we feel that nice pull along the quads. Bring it down, a little bit up and down on the ankles here, up on your toes, not on your ankles. Good. Take your feet a little bit wider than your shoulders. Again, we're going to hinge. Let everything just fall naturally. Feeling the pull in the hamstrings at the back here. Grab onto your ankles. Pull yourself in a little bit deeper. And then you're going to have that seat for me. Put the elbows on the thighs. Again, make sure the knees aren't going over the toes. Yeah, you're gonna push the hips back and you're gonna roll that back up. Roll it out. Stand nice and tall. Don't forget, a little tilt, stretch the neck. Good, good. And then as always, a nice big deep breath. And then you're gonna give yourself a great big hug. Close your eyes, say something nice about yourself. And that would be your workout for today. Hope you enjoy it. I wanna hear about your um, equipment that you're using, especially if you don't have the tools. Let me know what you're using, cans, broomsticks, whatever. Let me know, stay safe, and I really hope to see you guys soon. Enjoy your day.